Chris Bosna of the kickoff for Pittsburgh. get it started now the kicker Chris Boswell and here we go we're underway in Madden Ultimate Team and not much on this one takes it from the 21 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30 at their own 31 yard line line of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 Here's Allen. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Allen, an aggressive play call to start this game. It backfired, but aggressive, no question about that. Is that one of those statement calls? Trying to let you know that they're going to be aggressive right out of the gate. But that one hung up just a little bit too long. He made a nice play on the ball defensively and was able to pick it off. A Mostert a first down carry. This will wind up only getting him a couple. And it'll bring up second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans 23. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Escaping the pressure right. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll run on first down. It's Bell. And he'll get about three just outside the 10 stopped at the 11. The tackle made by Jonathan Abram. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the Titans' 11-yard line. On second and seven, Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Fourth down now as the Titans defense holds up in coverage. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So on fourth down, the Steelers call on the number of Chris Boswell for the field goal try. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Looking up at the lights, and he muffs it. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. At their own 15-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Not the way they wanted to begin things. You had the interception on the first play of the game. The good news, it only led to three points. And remember our conversation with him prior to the ball game? He said they had something special designed. And now nothing but green ahead of him. 20, 10, touchdown, Titans. Raheem Mostert, 85 yards. And the Titans have taken the lead. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who is a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Uh, 
The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Operating from the gun, Allen. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Reggie White on the sack there, showing the explosiveness that led him to the Hall of Fame. On second and a long way to go. Allen, throw right side is hauled in by the tight end, Gonzalez. And all the way inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 46 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the gun, Allen. And this is caught at the 8. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. That one goes for 24 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. That's the end of the first After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. On second and goal, Allen eluding the pressure right. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. They'll try and run it in with Bell. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Brings up fourth and they'll go for it with Bell. And not only will he not get in, he's going to lose yardage. They stuff him back at the four. Le'Veon Bell unable to get in, and the Titans' defense will celebrate the goal line stand. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. There's Moster. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Allen's throw is complete, and he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. First down, Titan. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. First down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. On first and 10, it's Mostert. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. It's a gain of a yard. Now Allen to throw on third down. Flushed out right. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. It's picked by the linebacker, T.J. Watt. 
Allen. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. So after the INT, it's Allen. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. Try to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Operating from the gun, Allen. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. will try again on second down. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And some room to roam now. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. You're trailing. You're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. Flush to his right. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. And incomplete. It's second down and 10. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Allen. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Steeler legend Troy Potomalu with a pick. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 16-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Just get out of there. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Steelers going to get the football first here, trailing on the scoreboard as we are back underway on EA Sports. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. down and they're going to throw with Allen and that going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten throwing again Allen and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down that one covers 29 yards, first down. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five now. Allen. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. 
He's going to take off with it. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Third and two. They'll try and run for it with Bell. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Seven-yard line. And now they'll throw with Allen. Got his man. It's caught for the Steelers' touchdown. Le'Veon Bell. There to make the grab. And the Steelers are going to retake the lead. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half, other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. He's going to let this go. Back in the end zone. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. DK, DK Metcalf, Metcalf 33 Tennessee. yards and the Titans have once again taken the lead and this is no good it's a missed extra point boy in a tight game how important might that turn out to be here as the second half rolls along so with the missed PAT in his rear view mirror he goes back out to kick this one off this one fielded at the five and a decent return out to the 27-yard line. On the return, the Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he is finally out of bounds all the way down at the 30. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and a yard. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. First and 10 at the 20-yard line. Operating from the red zone now. Allen escaping the pressure right to the goal line, but it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And it's caught. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him. Let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. 
Very short kick taken right at the 20. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Now the bad news for them, they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate, and they're working from behind. The good news, they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 first yards, down, first down. Tennessee. Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the think. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. D.K. Metcalf. DK Metcalf. Two catches, two touchdowns Tennessee. here so far. And the Titans have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Titans 20, Steelers 17. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this carries into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They're on 24-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking to hit his running back, Le'Veon Bell, that time. And that'll bring up second down. Brings up second From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. A gain of nine brings up third. Allen looks to throw on third and one. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Boy, Brandon, that's what I'd call an ill-advised pass right there on third down. I mean, you just need a yard or two to keep the drive going. Instead, he's trying to hit a home run. You've got to really like your chances if you're going to take a shot like that. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Allen off the play fake. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. It'll be a pickup of ten yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. Back to throw. Allen trying to lay one up deep. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. You got the slim lead late and the football, so why are you throwing it there? Remember during the year when we asked one of the head coaches, you know, if you're in this spot, why would you throw the ball? And he talked about trusting his quarterback and trusting his offense. But still. And then at the end he kind of went, yeah, not really a good reason. Right. <laughs> They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. His throw incomplete. The intended receiver was DK Metcalf, and that'll bring up second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. To throw is Allen. Looking left side, and it's complete. 
And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A big play there. 97 yards. And the Steelers have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And that will make this a four-point game. Makes the score. Steelers 24. Titans 20. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. From the six. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. 26-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They're down here in a one-score game. At the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. As he'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. Third and on play action, Allen. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times?